time the boys get here? Probably 15, 20. Dude, someone's breaking into my house right now. Oh my god, oh my god. What, do what do I do? All these choices. Oh man. Okay, that option's lame. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Mm, that's weak. Plus, my better shot than most cops. I really want pics of me on the internet with glowy red eyes and full kit. But dang it, I left my balaclava at home. Eh, I'm gonna send it. Got a signal for help. I'm covering my tracks. Yes, good throw. Ah, my bag. A trusty blaster. Haha, my perfectly set up plate carrier. Stupid thing. Oh no, Josh is probably hit. Definitely bring in the nods. They could have cut the power. Definitely don't want to lose these like our government lost 10,000 of them in the Middle East. That's correct. My name is Josh Lowry. Gotta get my gloves on. Some of the blood could have AIDS in it. Address, I just texted you. My wife and dog are out of the house. I don't know what he was doing here or what he was trying to get to, but. All right, Josh, I got you, buddy. He's not a problem anymore. I'm gonna save everyone. 20 minutes. Glad we didn't wait for you. Let's roll. Where have you been? For years I carried a bag just like the one that you saw in the intro, in the ridiculous intro. Well, of all of my kit, of night vision, helmets, plate carriers, rifle, all that stuff so that I could be prepared for any situation that came up. The big, the big rage at the time was responding to active shooters. And while there is a time and a place to have all of that kit and a time and a place to be proficient with it and to employ it, the truth of the matter is that for, for your daily driver, it's not always super realistic. So today we're not gonna look at uh, some big rig overlanding vehicle, though I do wish I had one. This is just my daily driver. And I'm just gonna walk you guys through the stuff that I keep in my truck anytime I go somewhere, and in some cases, extra bags or extra gear that I'll pack if I'm going on a longer distance drive or I'm going to a certain area where it, you know, I might need some extra gear. But for the most part, this is just a normal guy vehicle video. And hopefully you guys can catch some ideas on maybe some things that you've overlooked in your own daily driver and some things that you should add in to be a little bit more prepared when you're out on the road, just living your life. So this is a 2007 FJ Cruiser. Uh, it's got over 200,000 miles on it and it hates me, um, but I love it and I can't let it go. So let's get into the, to the nuts and bolts of what's inside. Okay, we'll start with probably the least important bag in this vehicle, which is the one that you guys have already seen. Uh, the reason for that being, it is the coolest, let's be real. It's the hottest. Um, first things first, whenever I pack a bag with a gun or any sort of expensive gear, I always keep it in or under a, like a baby blanket. Cause the last thing I want people doing is like peeking their head in, seeing some like really nice fancy bag and being like, ooh, uh, there's something in there. Let's break in. Luckily the FJ is, um, you can't get away with this on all vehicles, but the bag is not big enough to fit through this window if you were to bust it. And if you've ever, if you've never opened an FJ, you know that there is a, there's a secret to keeping bad guys out. And that is no one can figure out how to open the side door. <laughs> you have no idea how many times Josh has ridden in my vehicle and still can't figure this out. So that helps a little bit. Again, simple baby blanket. If you don't have kids, you might look like a weirdo going to a store and buying this, but just go for it. So this bag is made by Vertex. Uh, I actually can't remember the name of it, uh, but we'll throw it up on the screen for you. And it's just a simple duffel. I love duffels. I throw tons of things in duffels and you guys are gonna see a ton of Vertex bags in here. Um, they're not paying me to say any of this, but I've used their bags for, shoot, almost, seven or eight years i'm a huge fan so uh what i've got in here is my 11.5 bcm with a law folder uh this is the gun that i've shot the most throughout my life tens and tens of thousands of rounds through this thing uh, i've got a loophole lco with a uh, unity riser on it i've got the cqbl1 key g3 combo for night vision stuff 
And for today, I have on this um, uh, Surefire light, but uh, it's, it's honestly a pretty simple build. There's nothing super fancy about it. It's just a beater of a gun. And when I travel, this is oftentimes what goes in my bag. So, and it collapses down to fit in this bag pretty easily, which is nice. From there, I've got my Mtech strike helmet which if you guys haven't seen the video on this we have one already so i'm not going to go over this too much but one thing that is kind of cool especially when you're like packing out a bag for gear and kit is how to store your night vision uh, a lot of the options on the market especially in like the tactical world they're very expensive little packs and they don't always work very well i found this on amazon for 13 dollars, and it's a camera bag um, i wish i could give you a link i can't find it again i don't know who makes it uh, but it was an Amazon Basics, and it just goes into my helmet, clips together, and uh, it's pretty nice. Holds, holds all the things, the nods, the your mount, has a slot over here where I put extra batteries and like wipes and all the stuff that keeps it running. So enough of that. It's also padded, which is nice. And then a plate carrier at the very bottom. So try JPC 2.0. Uh, I've got a Spiritus Mark V placard on the front with a cheapo airsoft um, uh, little pouch here that I just needed really quick because I was going to, an, going to an event. And this is just, you know, this is what I have all the time. I do, I have recently moved to putting on a massive American flag on the back of it just in case I ever did run across some crazy scenario where it was appropriate to put this on. This is a pretty good, like, pause creator hesitancy creator if another good guy were to roll up and see me wearing this stuff it's like most bad guys don't have american flag stuff all over, all over their kit so but that's about it i keep this bag pretty well clean and dedicated just for that so i can move it from vehicle to vehicle is it bad if you carry something like this every day no absolutely not just think through you know when and where would you actually have the opportunity to put all this stuff on there is a time and a place it's usually not every day, but if you want to run it every day, hey, more power to you. The rest of the stuff is not nearly as sexy or cool, but I put a lot of thought into what I carry every single day in this vehicle. So let's take a look at that. Guys, so you know at some point in this video, I'm going to talk about what food and snacks and water and stuff I keep in this vehicle. Well, one thing that you can all do and one thing that I did several years ago is invest in some emergency food supplies. Right now, My Patriot Supply uh, will get you $200 off on a three-month food supply if you go to preparewithdc.com and they'll also include free shipping. I've been a longtime customer of theirs. I love that company and I like their product. So again, that is preparewithdc.com for $200 off and free shipping on a three month emergency food supply. That stuff is way more important than all the little gadgets and gizmos you can put inside of a truck. Have food at home, come on. So the next thing is a VTAC stackable. I use this for medical equipment. Uh, you are very likely to run across some sort of medical emergency in your lifetime, especially when you're out on the road. I've come across numerous wrecks. Um, whether or not you need to use the stuff in your pack, I don't know, but I like to have it. Uh, these stackables are pretty awesome. So up here in the top, I always have these uh, chem lights because if it is at night, I can pop that and actually be able to see into the bag. I've got a set of trauma shears and a backup set. And then I don't have this loaded out perfect. Um, you guys should check out Doc Pollock on the Bear Solutions channel for how to like load out your med bag. But I know where everything is in here. Um, I've got my splints and stuff back here in the back. I've got some uh, extra SWAT tees. I'm not a huge fan of these tourniquets, but uh, they can also be used to hold on splints and bandages and things like that. So they don't just have to be used as a tourniquet. I've got a little uh, pull away. So if I needed to like hand that to someone, I could. And here I've got, these are all like little vertex pouches. And here I've got a bunch of different types of gauze. And here I've got quick clot, as well as some extra bleeding issue type stuff. So this is a good like little bleed bag. If I just had to pull this whole thing out, it'd be ready to go. Again, an extra just do it all kit. And then I have a pull away tourniquet. You know, one of the things I've noticed that people do is they pack out these elaborate 
bags with a rifle and plate carrier. But if you were to come across a situation where a lot of people have been shot, a lot of people are going to be bleeding. So if you only carry one tourniquet, you're not doing it wrong, but you should have as many tourniquets as you can afford and as you can store, because I can always just rip this off, throw it in a back pocket, run in, help some people with it. From there, we've got chest seals galore back here, along with a burn tech dressing, which I probably actually would never use. And then on the interior pocket here, I have things that I need to, that I would access, that I don't need super fast access to, like a thermal blanket and uh, some extra tape and just some extra odds and ends. Over here on the side, I keep gloves. Um, there's a couple that are sealed, some that are not, but anyways, that's the med bag. Also keep a really big glow stick because again, doing anything at night sucks. Doing anything in the dark sucks, especially if you're like trying to help someone. Um, so I just stow, this will be a recurring theme. You're gonna see chem lights, glow sticks everywhere. You're gonna see numerous sources of light um, and lots of tourniquets. So, all right, let's, uh, let's check out what's next. This is probably very uh, not super useful, though um, if you had one of these and you needed it, you'd be really glad you had it. And that is simply a, uh, a pro mask, a gas mask. And we're gonna be doing a much longer video on gas masks soon, especially for civilian use. But uh, I have an, I believe this is an FM53 from Avon, staged, ready to roll. Um, if I was driving through an area, which I never planned to do, where there were riots or potentially gas on the streets. Well, I have it. Again, this is gonna live somewhere. It might as well live in my back seat uh, because I'm probably not ever gonna have to put this on in my house. So that's that. Other than that, you'll notice the back seat stays pretty clean. I try and keep it pretty clean because if we do have to move car seats out of my wife's vehicle into this vehicle, uh, it's, it's really easy to throw them in. Well, as easy as car seats are to install, you know. Um, but it's quicker to throw in than having like all this crap that I have to pull out. Everything stays in its own little package, ready to roll, ready to move, ready to transport, take inside, take outside, move to a different vehicle. That's kind of the common theme here. So in the side pocket, I just have a couple extra Kimmies, an extra PMAG, and some extra glasses, mainly for the range. Over here in this door, uh, I did used to have a better way to stage this, but it's a really quick seat belt cutter. Again, I don't plan on driving my vehicle into a lake or the river here, um, but you know, there's a time and a place, and if I needed it, I'd be glad that I had it. Uh, I used to stage that a little bit better. I had a piece of Velcro that I would stick it onto so it wouldn't like fly all over the place if I was in a wreck, but again, it's a really cheap tool. Why not have it? Uh, let's check out the back. So this back panel was by Tactical Walls. Uh, I used to use this thing all the time. I had like magazines and everything staged on it, but for my daily driver, it didn't really make a lot of sense. Back then I was going to the range like every single day. So I was working out of my truck on the range. But if I'm going to the supermarket or if I'm going to pick up groceries and I have to pop this back hatch, I don't want everyone and their sister in the Walmart parking lot in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee, knowing that I have tons of guns and stuff in here. So. I kind of keep this clean. I have extra attachments if I want to put, put them on there. I do have some, uh, some recovery straps, but the stuff in here is surprisingly very important. Uh, first of all, heavy duty, large trash bags. Uh, you can do a lot of things with trash bags. If you ever have a window blowout or a window crack or anything like that, you're gonna want to duct tape them up because it sucks having to drive with you know, broken glass beside your face, or if you have a sunroof that blew out, like in one of my old vehicles, you can put this on it. It's also good for just carrying stuff. If you ever do run out of gas and you have to go get your own gas and you don't have a gas can, it's in the middle of the night, you can always fill up a trash bag you know, a quarter of the way with gas, tie it off, walk it back to your vehicle, and be super careful about it. I don't recommend it, but again, these things are super handy. Why not have them? Good pair of gloves. If you ever have to do anything on the road, you're gonna want gloves, uh, not because you're a pansy and you don't wanna tear your hands up, but just because you can get a better grip on things. So I always keep beater gloves. Uh, as you can see, these do not match, but I love mechanics gloves because they're cheap. 
they're disposable basically and as soon as I burn one pair out or burn one hand out I just replace it so uh, it looks like I have burned out the other hand for this and the other hand for this so this is what you get jumper cables you have no idea how many people don't have jumper cables these are super cheap these are not the fancy ones where you can connect them in the middle i wish i had some of those because i love them but just basic jumper cables to help somebody else out or to you know fix a problem that you created by leaving your lights on or if your wife left her lights on and called you and you had to drive an hour to help her out some of you guys know what i'm talking about an ikea bag this is not uh, what a lot of people would expect to see, but these things, you can get them in bulk, like ultra cheap. They're just good totes, man. If you need to throw a bunch of stuff in here or if you need to like um, just transport stuff, uh, it's also, it, it's, a, it's a tarp. It's a tarp, so you could technically cut this up, cover up a broken window, tape it up, you're good to go. I have a ton of these and use them all the time. And if you play Tarkov, you can make plate carriers and chest rigs out of them, so yeah. Um, we also have um, trailer hitch, which I don't really use very much anymore. That's a story for a different day. So back here in the back. Hey Drew, before you get started, you know we're in Tennessee, right? Oh, okay. All right. So thanks, Nick. Thanks for the reminder. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but uh, there is a Salt Life sticker on my truck conveniently in black so I wouldn't notice it for the longest time. My wife knows that I have this pet peeve about people who don't live on the coast who have salt life memorabilia on their vehicles. It drives me insane. If you don't get anything else out of this video other than how, how ridiculous you are when you have a salt life bumper sticker and you live in Missouri or Tennessee or Kentucky, just remember that. That's one of my biggest pet peeves in this world. Instant road rage. Um, and she thought it'd be funny to play a prank on me coming back from the beach. She bought that, put it on there. I didn't know it was on there for two weeks. And when I saw it, I was genuinely embarrassed because there was someone driving behind me. It also terrified me because I thought I had driven someone else's vehicle. There was like a three second lull where I was looking in my rear view mirror. I saw the sticker and I was like, oh my God, this is someone else's vehicle. How did I get in? How am I driving this? How did it turn on? And then it dawned on me, my wife betrayer anyways back to the inside so uh anytime i go anywhere i hate buying like two dollar water bottles at gas stations so i store water bottles like basically everywhere in here plus if you ever do break down or if you were to get stranded for you know 12 hours or a day or more you're going to want to have water on hand uh, so i keep this gallon jug I forgot who told me about this. I'm pretty sure I saw one of the uh, Spiritus dudes that had one of these or something. But uh, yeah, I burn through these usually about one a day. I have one back at home. I have one that I just keep in here all the time. And uh, it helps to have. It's nice to have. This toolkit stays in here all the time. Um, each one of these bags pretty much always lives in here. This one, not always, but usually. Uh, this one is just a, again, another Vertex stackable. Looks like a bird had its way with it. This is just a uh, extra clothes bag. Um, if, you've ever, if you've ever broken down, if you've ever like, you know, not being able to get home or maybe you're super tired and you have to pull over and you end up, you know, being on a trip longer than you expected you know how nice it is to have some extra clothes change of underwear i've got a woobie in here it's still somewhat hot out here in tennessee right now but uh, in the winter months some of the stuff in here would change it would get you know heavier clothing coats thermals things like that but for now it's pretty lightweight although in the mornings it is pretty chilly so i have a woobie hoodie rain jackets uh, I keep numerous rain jackets in my vehicle at all times. I came across a, an overturned semi about three or four years ago. It turned over right in front of me. I uh, put on my brakes, pulled over, helped the people get out. They had to like climb out and uh, it immediately started pouring raining. So on top of all of their cuts, all their bruises, um, I was at least able to offer them a little bit of rain protection, a little bit of warmth while we waited for the ambulances to arrive. So I always keep extra rain jackets. It never hurts to have it. They're super lightweight. They fold up. This is a uh, this is my favorite one. 
This is a Vertex. Again, Vertex. I know it sounds like I'm just shilling, but I love their stuff. Um, I think it's called an Integrity Shell. And this thing has been through the ringer for years, and I love it. Extra socks, because getting wet socks uh, sucks. And if you're an idiot and you forget to fill up your, your, your tank with gas or your gas meter just decides to stop working because you have an old FJ and if something can go wrong, it will go wrong and you run out of gas and you have to trek a mile down the road um, through a bunch of like streams, uh, you're gonna want a change in socks. Keep a ball hat or a ball cap with me at all times. Here's why I keep a ball cap. Not because I have a receding hairline. It's not actually receding, okay? It's been like that since I was 18. It's actually thicker than it was back then. But the reason why I always have a ball cap is just in case I'm driving and I don't have one on, then if I have to do any kind of road maintenance, I can always pull out my flashlight. This is like a Streamlight Pro-Tac and clip it on. If you don't have a headlamp, which you should always have headlamps, um, there you go, built in, it's super nice. So I always keep a ball cap. Some hiking boots. These are some old Solomons uh, that I've just beat up over the years and they still have goat poop impacted in them. I'm just gonna leave that on there just in case I get like really hungry and I run out of food on the road. Um, but uh, again, if you're having to depart from your vehicle for any reason, you don't wanna be wearing your normal your normal shoes. I like that around here. Um, if you had to hike anywhere, you're gonna twist an ankle. So that's what I have. A very lightweight, cool hoodie. That's good in any climate. Some extra pants, an extra poncho, again, rain gear, and another uh, jacket, another rain jacket. May seem overkill, but in my experience, People need rain jackets. They forget them all the time, even when there's no crisis involved. And so I just keep a lot on me. So that's that bag. So an extra clothing bag of some sort. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It can just be underwear, socks, and maybe a pair of hiking boots and a rain jacket. Like it doesn't have to be a lot. This is something I don't always take with me, but when I do, it's usually on longer trips or if I think there's any reason whatsoever that I might not be home for a day or so. Uh, this is a Vertex contingency duffel. This used to be my main gear bag, but I've kind of changed it to, um, uh, to have like a sleep system and other things like that. I've camped out so many times in my FJ and have lived out of this bag numerous times. So come on over here and see what's inside. So I um, have a uh, compressed down uh, sleeping bag. I believe it's a, an old Nemo. An extra Wooby. Again, if I'm traveling with a wife and kids, somebody forgets something, somebody gets cold, so I have this and can throw, throw it on them as a blanket or give it to my wife. Um, I do keep an extra um, uh, water bladder here, which is part, this is like half of the water, the budget water filtration system that I've built. Um, someone recommended it to me back in the day. Um, we'll be doing another video on that soon, but I do have this with me just in case I need it. Again, this is not something that I take with me on every drive. Um, and here, again, another Vertex stackable. I like to organize stuff, and I'm going to hate having to put all this stuff back in. Kim light to see what I'm doing. This is food. So if I get hungry, um, if I, if I run out of like protein bars or something in there, I can always make food out of this thing. So I've got uh, numerous fire starting things right here, but hopefully I don't actually have to start a fire. I've got a small Sawyer water filtration system here. So if I needed to fill that up and drink through it, I could. Again, probably won't ever use it, but I'm glad I have it. And then um, jet boils, which I know, you know, it's, it's hit or miss. Either you're a jet, you're a Jetboil fanboy or you just hate them. Uh, they're simple, they're easy, I like them. And if I wanna cook some food, I can really quick. Mountain House meals and stuff like that and My Patriot Supply, they're all like good options. Uh, one that uh, my buddy uh, Jason Demo told me about was uh, Hawk Vittles. And these things are absolutely delicious. Uh, they're a little bit on the pricey side though, they're not too bad. Anytime you're 
getting like freeze dried food or something like that, you know, you're going to be paying a little bit extra. Um, but this is cowboy pasta. I think I've got two cowboy pastas in here. Uh, maybe I'll cook these up with Nick, but basically you just need to boil like 12 ounces of water and uh, put it in the package. And in a couple of minutes, you're good to go. And these are delicious and filling. Um, and they're actually very nutritious. So uh, I highly recommend these things if you guys haven't checked them out. Not being paid for the shout out, but I really wish I was. Um, and they do have expiration dates. Like these are best used by January, 2024, but I know they last much, much longer. That's just when they're most delicious. And of course, uh, some sort of like, you know, spork or spoon fork combo. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've gone out camping and brought all the food and then left any sort of like eating utensil at home. And I've just had to like blade my knife in there or just, you know, hand it. So over here on the side, you've got a rainproof or like a, like a waterproof pouch here. There's an old loophole one that my buddy Nick gave me. It's got extra socks just to make sure that these are like heavier, like warmer socks. And then an extra med kit down there um, just because it takes up just about the same amount of space as if it wasn't in there. I've got, this is, this is kind of silly, you guys might laugh at me, but uh, I've got a, uh, like one of those inflatable airplane, you know, neck like, pillows. yeah, neck pillows. Um, because if I am sleeping in my vehicle and I don't want to like lay down the seats and actually like spread out, then this is actually pretty nice. And I sleep in my vehicle a lot. I've not so much lately, but I used to sleep in my vehicle about two or three days, maybe four or five days out of a month. So this is nice to have. Again, going back to the organization, I keep everything in its own little bin. So if I need to grab something, put it in another backpack, give it to someone else, take it out entirely. It's all there. The last thing I want, the last thing you need to do for your vehicle is just let just crap be everywhere. Keep it organized. Um, treat it like it's your house. Although maybe some of you are pretty messy, so that might not, not be a great idea. But again, here's another fire starting kit. Uh, there's also some maps and some navigation, a compass, something to write with. There's like a write in the rain. There's a uh, like Blackbeard fire starters, Sharpies. It's just a good little kit to have with you at all times. Uh, an extra life straw, although I think this one I need to get rid of. So I'm glad we did this video. And then again, another Vertex stackable with tons of batteries. I keep an extra radio battery in here, extra batteries for every single thing I need, including a charger for the ones that need charging. Um, and then of course I have a converter hooked up in the back. So it's kind of built into the FJ so I can charge while I drive. Over here, when I do lay the seats down, I have this old, old, old hunting uh, seat uh, that I used to sit on uh, whenever I was like 10 years old hunting deer in the middle of nowhere, but it's a great pillow. Uh, it's also great to throw behind your back on long trips. So that pretty much covers this bag. There's still a lot more space that I could use in it, uh, which comes in handy in the winter months whenever I need to put more winter gear in here. It's bigger, it's poofier, it takes up more room. Or if I wanted to store more food, I could, but that's that bag. So it's kind of like a sustainment bag, uh, extra batteries, food, sleep system to keep you warm, water filtration. Uh, that's kind of its its intended purpose. So this thing is a behemoth. It reminds me how much I need to work out more. Um, can't remember the brand of this, uh, but it's just a massive toolbox. And uh, I don't really use it for tools so much. I guess I do, but not your typical like power tools. Simply slides open. It's on rollers, so it's nice and easy to transport. This always stays in my vehicle. This has not left my truck except to go into my garage to like re-kit it out since I got the thing. Over here on this side, I have a ton of uh, different kinds of like straps and cables. These are really crappy ones, but they can come in handy. Uh, you'll notice throughout this, uh, this box, I have just water bottles stored everywhere. I hate water bottles rolling around. If I have a pallet in the back of my vehicle, inevitably I'll get thirsty and I'll just, you know, do the finger where you punch the hole through the plastic and just rip it open and yank one out. And then it just, stuff goes everywhere. And if you haven't noticed yet, I'm very OCD about storage and organization. So I pack it down in different places. I also don't keep all of my water in the same place just in case I do take one bag and not the other. But keep electrical tape. Um, 
I can't remember the name of this. What are these called? Wire ties? Yes, wire ties. They're like rubberized um, ties with wire in them. I have used these to fix things, to temporarily fix things on this FJ so many times. Um, pretty much any vehicle I get in the future, I'm always gonna keep these with me. Uh, they're just, they're super handy. So I even held up a fuel tank with these when the fuel tank straps broke because they rusted out because Toyota. Um, moving on, over here on this side, I keep smaller gadgets, smaller odds and ends. I do keep an extra external battery charger, which is great for keeping your phone or your GPS charged. Um, uh, a Gerber, I can't even remember the name of this one, uh, center drive, Gerber center drive. Uh, this this multi-tool is probably one of my favorite. Its blade has stayed super sharp despite me absolutely abusing it. And it's just a good like all around multi-purpose tool. I have one of those with me all times. And then just a simple, you know, screwdriver that switches out. Um, if I'm going on a longer trip, I'll probably bring a socket set with me, which I'll just put down in here, but that's pretty rare. I do have a proprietary socket for my tires. Um, like this is the only one that can take off my tires. And so um, it's nice to have. It's also great because someone can't just like roll up with whatever random socket set they have and steal the tire off the back of my FJ. Um, but speaking of tires, don't look at these because they're, they desperately need, Nick, stop, stop. They desperately need to be replaced. Um, I typically replace tires about once a year and these are going on about a year and a half and I used to drive like 60,000 miles a year. So trying to keep off-road tires or hybrid tires on your vehicle when you're daily driving on the highway, it's brutal and it's expensive and it's time for these to get an upgrade before it gets um, really snowy and icy here in Tennessee. So just a fun fact. Uh, beyond that, super glue for cuts and little scrapes because I like to use this more than I like to use band-aids. Uh, extra batteries, again, another common theme is lighting and being able to like stay lit. Um, <laughs> stay lit, dude. <laughs> um, uh, brake lights and headlights, uh, which I actually need to replace the brake lights still. Okay, that's how people know, know it's me. Oh, his light's out. Um, got Josh over here. Josh and Nick behind the camera. You guys can't see this, but they're just sitting here laughing the whole time. Uh, Extra lighter, um, a little emergency whistle, which is like the pansiest thing in the world. Like, you don't ever want to tell another man you have an emergency whistle, but let's be real, it has a compass on it. That's why I really have it. Um, but this is nice to have. Never used it, never had to use it. Gerber Dime Multi-Tool. I bought like 10 of these, they're like $10 a piece. And these are just beater little multi-tools. They have a set of pliers, they have tweezers, they have, uh, like a little blade, and as soon as I burn one of these out, I just toss it and throw in a new one, but I really like having these around. Uh, nail clippers, because if you're OCD, you're also OCD about your nails. You hate getting them pulled back and all this other stuff, so always keep trimmers on me. Boo-boo kit. A lot of people have like these massive elaborate um, med bags, but they don't have the most basic things um, that can really just like drive you crazy when you're out and about um, and then if you have to go out and buy a pack of band-aids or buy some ibuprofen or buy some you know uh, Tylenol migraine you know you're paying ten dollars for two pills it's like dude just just buy the stuff ahead of time little stuff like this helps a lot especially if you, if you have a family I know a lot of us guys we're fine like if we get a cut like doesn't matter but if you have kids if you have a wife like got to kind of take care of them a little bit better than you take care of yourself. So stuff like this helps. Um, extra Allen key set for gun stuff uh, and burner phone number one. And this, uh, so I keep a burn, I keep two burner phones. This specific one uh, is, uh, it's already, it's like, it's prepaid, it's got data and it's on a different network than what my current phone is. So if for whatever reason I don't have service here, I can fire this thing up. I preloaded numbers in it of people that I know, like my family, and uh, it's just good to have. And if you do buy a burner phone, make sure you test to see how long the battery lasts with it just dormant. Uh, about every two months I have to recharge this thing, so, but it stays off pretty much all the time.
Extra chem lights, including these uh, CJ Sile looms. You can't really see them here, but they're battery operated. Turn them on, turn them off. Nice to have. And that takes care of this little small part. But inside here, stuff that I have had to use a lot. Um, I keep this Vertex. I don't even know what pack this is, but it's just a super lightweight. It'll roll up into nothing uh, pack. And on the inside, I keep one of the, I keep another one of these uh, uh, water bags. This one, I don't ever really plan on using for water. But again, if you run out of gas or if you need fuel, um, I don't know why that's a reoccurring theme here, but if fuel ever becomes scarce, uh, then you could technically pour gas into this or siphon gas into this or into like, you know, a quarter of it, roll it up, stuff it back in your bag and transport it back to your vehicle. So I, uh, I always keep this with me. Um, that's also just a nice lightweight bag that doesn't scream tactical that I can just throw stuff in if I need to. Again, another uh, Magpul DACA. It's got some paracord in it, some tape, and another multi-tool. Another huge chem light so I can crack it, throw it in this thing, see what I'm doing. Uh, Gorilla tape. Again, if you drive an older vehicle or if you have any vehicle problems, it's always very nice to have some really high quality tape with you, whether you need to tape up a window, uh, tape up a windshield, uh, tape up something else on your vehicle. It's just good to have. Um, in this, I have extra straps. Uh, most of these are kind of like tertiary straps. I don't ever really plan on using them, uh, but I do have them if I need them and I might as well utilize this space if it's there. More water bottles. have a small tire repair kit, which I have had to use before. I just refreshed this, so I've got fresh uh, goo. But uh, you know, it does help to be able to fix your tire if you need to. Now, how are you gonna air it back up on the road? Well, unless you have an air compressor, you're kind of screwed. You might have to use your spare, which I know a lot of people don't have some fancy spare massive tire on the back of their vehicle. A lot of times they have some dinky one uh, that a lot of times is not good and is also flat. So if you haven't checked it, you probably should. Uh, so I do carry, though it pains me to say it, fix a flat. I know back in the day, this stuff would ruin your tires if you used it. I don't think that's the case anymore, but in an emergency, I would be glad that I had this, though I don't ever plan on using this and it would kind of be a last resort type thing with any sort of tire issue. But it's like, eight dollars please have one bolt cutters wire cutters um i don't know when i would ever need these in like a time of peace <laughs> but um i have them i can think of a couple uses you can use your imagination they can help you get in and out of places another daca this one keeps my uh, siphon in it. Now this is a fancy siphon. You can just use a water hose. Like it's better than nothing. I mean, and just, you know, gravity is on your side. Just make sure that, you know, the tank is higher than what you're pouring it into. Like it's pretty common sense. If you don't know how to siphon gas, we don't need to make a video on it. You can look it up on YouTube. But this is a little bit more of a fancy siphon. It's got a pump on it uh, and all sorts of other things. So it doesn't really matter. Um, where you're at or what you're doing or the placement of your fuel source, like you can, you can pump it out uh, to, you know, to an exact degree. So always keep this with me. Toe straps and also great for just holding things down your vehicle if you had to. And then a jack stand, which this is not something a lot of people think about. When I bought this FJ, um, it was already it had some suspension done to it. I don't know. I'm not a truck guy. I, I don't know. Um, but what I found out pretty quickly whenever I tried to change a tire was that the stock um, jack would not actually lift up the vehicle. It's not that the vehicle was too heavy. It just literally couldn't reach. And instead of carrying around a bunch of extra bricks or blocks of wood to stick underneath it, I just invested in a nicer, it's not the fanciest one of all time, but it is a nicer jack stand that can actually lift 
it can you know reach the underbelly of my vehicle or the frame to be able to lift it up so if you haven't ever checked your jack stand you should absolutely do that make sure it's actually capable of reaching and lifting your vehicle a lot of the ones that come with the vehicles absolutely suck so uh, that's pretty much it extra tape extra water uh, handle for the jack stand and that about covers this uh, this main like component that goes with me everywhere. Um, there's a lot of stuff I could add. Depending on the trip, I will add it. But for the most part, in times of peace, in times of normalcy, uh, this is more than enough. And even if things were to go bad, this will at least get you home. I think that covers the back. Um, over here on the side, uh, I do, this is my, this is just my daily backpack. Again, a Vertex, I know, oh my gosh, such a shill. Um, but I don't like carrying around a backpack that looks super tactical. I just want like a normal person backpack and Vertex does a good job at making normal people backpacks. Um, you could use like a Jansport, but there's not a lot of structure in those. Uh, so I do like this. Again, just carries around my, my MacBook with a bunch of extra cables and, uh, and that's about it. So again, the theme here is normal person, everyday carry type stuff, the stuff that you're actually gonna use um, anytime something bad happens. And I think a lot of times on YouTube and in our industry, when people think of something bad happened, their mind jumps to the worst. But bad things happen every single day and they're not always active shooters or North Korean invasions or Chinese invasions, it's just, People get in wrecks. People's vehicles break down. Um, the air conditioner goes out in your vehicle, or uh, you know, there's a roadblock, or there's trees down. There's so many other little things. There's a natural disaster. So many other little things that happen all the time to normal people that they're just absolutely woefully unprepared for, and it's ridiculous. You can just do a little, little stuff here and there, accumulate some of this stuff to just better prepare you for the things you are way, way more likely to run into every single day. Um, you know, not some, you know, active, massive active shooter situation, though you should be prepared for those also. Um, I think that about wraps it up. I do keep the Chacos in here at all times because sometimes you just gotta let, you gotta let the dogs breathe, bro. You know, you just gotta let the dogs out. Um, and my kids would be mad if I didn't at least say I keep, the little toy African painted dog that they got me for Father's Day. I always keep that with me because, you know, I love my kids. They're great. Um, glove box is uh, pretty much what you'd see in most people's glove box. Um, here, I'll hop in here, Nick. Got an extra little medical pouch. I've had this forever, back when this company was called Wild Hedgehog Tactical. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Oh, they're called live the creed now love those guys they make some nice little packs nice little pouches again uh, there's some quick clot in here but it's mostly just like boo-boo kit type stuff and uh um and then some extra sinus medicine because it sucks having horrible sinuses an extra glock don't always have this with me i usually i'm carrying right now so um, I'm pretty much always carrying, so it's very rare that I actually put this in the glove box for a secondary gun, but occasionally I will do it. I have an extra burner radio. It's just a really cheap, crappy Beofeng radio that I can give to a friend, give to my wife, or if my other radio goes down, I've got this. Extra tourniquet, extra uh, solo T tourniquet. Most people don't even know about these things, but they are quite awesome. Um, I'll let you guys YouTube that and see how they actually work. Um, Dom Rosso recommended this to me like years ago and I picked one up. So um, would not be my first go-to choice. I'd still stick with the cat, but again, medical is the name of the game. I like to have a lot of it on me. And a Mod, mod Light Hog. This is a Mod Light Hog Light. There we go, that's a mouthful. This is a, an extremely powerful light that stays charged for a very long time. If I did need to like absolutely crush something with light, I could, um, this would be like my go-to to seize like, I mean, we were taking 400 yard shots 
in pitch black with this light on the target, it punches through a lot of stuff. And if I needed to duct tape it to the side of my vehicle because a headlight went out, though I do have you know a bulb to replace that, I could. So I like to have this. Again, extra chem lights. Beyond that, sunglasses, extra light in the center console. Do keep, uh, this sounds stupid, but man, like if you're just driving, you might as well be doing something. So like this has like kept my mind sharp whenever I'm super tired or, you know, kept my arms feeling better when you're just sitting there like cramping up. So I always keep one of these with me and extra mags. Also keep extra medicine. This is like a little, uh, this is an old aspirin bottle that I put an assortment of medicine in. It's got aspirin, it's got ibuprofen. It's got Tylenol uh, or sorry, Excedrin migraine. It's got anti-diarrheal pills. And I know that sounds silly, but dude, like if you get stranded for any reason and you have diarrhea, like that's how people died. I still have nightmares of dying of dysentery on the Oregon Trail in second grade in, in the computer lab. So I don't know why I think about diarrhea so much, probably because I have kids, but um, yeah, extra, extra medicines of different sorts always comes in handy. Uh, one more thing, come around to this side, Nick. So uh, I'll let Nick hop in here and show you this up close, but I do, FJs are kind of cool. They have this extra glove box, uh, which I keep a lot of other stuff in. Right in the rain notebook, this is like a NCOG lock pick set, which it has some very basic lock picks, um, if you know how to use them. I'm okay, I'm not great, but again, I don't know when I would ever use this, but hey, let's throw it in there. Uh, it's gonna get lost in my house if I don't put it in here. Extra lighter, extra blade, extra chem lights, and headlamp. Man, I've lost and refound this headlamp so many times, so now it pretty much just lives in my truck at all times. Um, if you don't have a headlamp, this is one of the most valuable tools and the cheapest tools um, that you can get. Um, I now have numerous headlamps in numerous different places, but uh, you should absolutely have one of these in your vehicle no matter what. Anytime you have to do anything outside of your vehicle or on your vehicle at night, you're gonna be thanking me that you had one of these. So, and most of you know to have one, but you just don't. So, you know, here's your reminder. Beyond that, an extra burner phone with an extra pre prepaid card on it on a different network. Um, and uh, it, stuff like this is actually not that expensive. You can get these for like 30, 40 bucks, get an old model of a phone, you know, prepay 60 bucks for data and, uh, and texting and calling and you're good to go. And then also I have some actual paper maps of the different highways in the states that I'm close to. So Tennessee, Alabama, I'm also really close to Kentucky, but I know Kentucky roads cause that's where I lived for 20 something years. So I could do it in my mind. Uh, the cool thing about paper maps is they don't run out of battery. And for the most part, they're free. Uh, beyond that, Nick, you got any other questions, man? Not really dude. Okay, so that's my daily driver. Uh, you saw the things that I carry all the time. You see some of the th some of the things that I carry some of the time and how I stage everything. The name of the game here is organization. Know what you have, know where you've put it. Uh, craft it in such a way that you can move it around either from, from your vehicle to inside your house or from one vehicle to the other. And think through not just taking care of yourself, but taking care of other people because ultimately like, yeah, you got to watch out for yourself, but we're here to make people's lives better. We're here to help other people out. So thanks guys. If you have any other questions or if you have your own suggestions on things that I've forgotten, cause I'm sure I've forgotten some stuff, or I'm sure you guys know some better ways to pack some of this stuff or some better items, put it in the comments below. We read every single one of them. Whenever you guys have great ideas, I literally write them down and then go and buy it or put it on an idea list that we, you know, go to later. So thanks again. Catch you guys later. So we've also got uh, this Sharper rack. I replaced the original, actually my buddies, Chad and Charles over at Rally Rats, uh, they replaced the original uh, top rack for the FJ with this Sherpa Tech rack, which has been awesome. It's nice and flat. Um, I do have a, a cover 
I do have another pack that can go on top of this that I can tie down and throw extra stuff if you know the fam is going on a trip for you know weeks on end. Um, I wouldn't put any valuables in it because someone could just stab into it and take everything, but extra clothes, things like that. Um, I do have max tracks, which um, I'm not going to take off here. I'll make Nick climb up here and show them to you guys. But uh, these are relatively expensive, but I have had to use them a couple of times. One time to bail out a friend who had gotten stuck in some ice and some just like slushiness. And then another time I used those to dig uh, to dig out an area and to like build up some dirt so that I could get over a spot with my crappy tires. So um, that's a nice thing to have. Probably not necessary for most people. Also a very expensive um, addition, but I got those as a gift for Christmas, so I use them.